Okay, <clears throat> let's see if you can see that. All right, it looks like it. So look, I go a bit higher. This is one of those Chinese diesel heaters I've been waiting for. One of those. You can see that. This is off eBay. This is £124. Um, this is going to be on the van conversion. <clears throat> this is to see what you actually get in the box. Now, I did open it up just to make sure that nothing was damaged because the box was a little bit tatty when it came. You don't get this. I'll put this in a link in the description down below because you don't get any instructions with this or anything. All you got was operational instructions. That's about it, really. Now, this one, when I ordered it, it's supposed to have come with remote control. So I emailed them because it didn't come with it. And they just said, no, no, it doesn't. Well, it does, but I wasn't going to argue because I actually bought one for four quid. That's it, really. So what do we get in the box? I don't know why they're in there, but anyway, I ordered one with the fuel tank as well. So you've got two clips. And what we'll do in a minute, we'll move the box. So, fuel tank, 10 litre. Well, I believe you have to drill, something in that one, you have to drill your own hole in there. Let's see what's in here. Ah. All right, okay. That looks like the tap to me there. So you've got to feed that through, and then you've got securing nuts and washers in there as well. Okay, we'll leave that in there. Put that to one side. Jubilee clips. So I presume that's the heater. Right, okay, so what's in here? Right, so put them aside. Bear with me. Do you know what I mean by about the box was damaged a bit, if you can see that? A bit dubious. Also, this one was £124. There was another one being sold that someone said they bought off eBay for £120. Um, but he had a um, analogue. Oh, I've got a digital display. So, anyway, ducting. This is a two kilowatt heater as well. So ducting, air ducting, when you're inside the vehicle, by the way, okay? That is exhaust. I bought another piece of exhaust and that's in the van at the moment. It's got a silencer on the end. So I might extend this and it seems to be a bit, 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 bit better quality than that. This is your air intake. Uh, and I'll show you that in a minute on the, on the unit itself. Little mini silencer, stainless steel. Yeah. This is your fuel line. So you'll section this off for as long or as short as you want it, depending where it is in the vehicle. Your wiring loom and your connectors, pretty straightforward by the look of it. There's only two main wires that you connect, which is positive and negative. Uh, air duct vent which is movable wherever you want it once it's connected just fits on like so and then you can twist it this is your mounting plate and this will fit in the vehicle and you'll make it you'll this is your template you'll make your holes screw them screw them out drill them out and then your unit will sit on there you can mount it to uh, two pieces of wood if you wanted to or L brackets whatever you want to do and that will lift it up a little bit so you haven't got to make holes in the floor of your vehicle to allow for the bolts going through as well so that's a bit of a tip for anybody this is uh, air silencer that's a new bit I didn't know that come with so that's interesting a lot of assortments of Connectors, all there. Oh, I am looking for. I haven't seen that yet. Is a digital display. So hopefully it's in there. 
So why don't you, yep, silencer. All your gubbins, you get extra tubing for your fuel line as well, extra. Which, what that does, whenever you cut this, wherever it's going to go, then you'll push this on using clips, jubilee clips, and then you'll so it'll go like from the pump to the to the unit, and, and so and this is what you'll connect it with. So from here, from so you take a piece of this off, put it on the pump. You'll see, you'll get the hang of it. I'll do another video on putting this in the vehicle. So all your gummies and your clips and everything you need, and that as well. That's a holder. I'll show you that for your fuel pump. And that's got to be mounted at, at either, well, upright or a 30 degree angle. So anything like from that to sort of, oh, we'll see that. Uh, actually bracket. And then, yes, to preserve resistance. Ah, there we are. There we go. And that's what I wanted. I wanted the digital display. There we go. That looks quite new, thank God. I was wondering if it had been used or sent back. You never know, do you? You never, never know. So that was that. This is your fuel pump. We two connect two little blockers on each end, so they'll have to come off. And then that sits at 30 degree angle. And that's your mounting squeegee thing. You have to squeeze into that. <coughs> There you go. That's a good tight fit, by the way. <coughs> right. And then this. And this is, this is not light, this is a fair beast. It looks great for the kit. So you got your rubber. Mount on there, so that's nice. That's your fuel line connector. Over there, won't put him on. That's your fuel line. Then you've got your air and exhaust. I think that's the air and exhaust. I will double check. Nice pink. I thought it was red. It's like, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm not bothered about the colour. You're not going to see it anyway. So, hot air out. In the in, in duct coming in. Bit of a tip as well. Sorry about that. When you're connecting your air intake, you don't want it to draw air from inside the vehicle. You should be reusing the air, which will cause condensation. I think it goes in. I'll double check. Not too sure. Okay, so we got hot air out, which would be. That's the end the hot air comes out of because that is where your heat exchanger is. So if you look at that like that around. So exhaust, exhaust, and inlet, and your little tiny fuel input. Alright, so the next video will be installing this in the van. Like I said, I'll put this in the link in the description down below. And this covers fitting instructions, electrical instructions, all your parts, fuel tank, because it doesn't come with it. So it'll be just a, it'll be a link to a, a PDF file. Uh, you can either, then what I did, then I just put it into Word and then printed it out just for convenience. Shows you how to put your fuel upright, 30 degree, yeah, intake, here we go. Show me fuel line. It's a bit of a must, I think this is. So, yeah, I had this bang for me at work. So that's it. Okay. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I mean, for £124 this cost me. I did buy an Urbispasha, if that's how you say it. Um, which I thought was a good buy, but it ended up being faulty. And then I sent it away to have it checked. And to be honest with you, the bloke who looked at it told me that... It would have cost uh, the ECU unit, which is inside here. The ECU unit would have cost uh, 250 quid to replace because the Airbus bashes are like 700 pound, 800 pound new. 
Um, so it was a bit of a mistake. The, the ECU that cost for you fifty pound. You could buy two of these for that. That's pathetic, isn't it? So you might as well take a chance with this. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next vid, which will be either installing this, which it probably will be, in the vehicle. Um, with, I'll do a full install where everything goes, how I've done it, the wiring, the lot. And I might use the fuel tank or I might put it into my fuel tank. It depends. It's just for convenience and where's that going to go. Take care. See you in the next vid. All the best.